Simon here of designcores.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at pattern fills as a way to uh, just add a little bit extra to our illustrations and shapes and designs in general. And so uh, specifically the ones we're going to be looking at are going to be good for adding uh, sort of illustrative line-based and dot-based patterns uh, in terms of adding sh shadows or highlights. So uh, just go to File New. Uh, for my resolution I, for this video, 859 by 600 points works well at 100%. And then for Advanced, we want to make sure everything is at uh, RGB and Raster Effect Screen 72. And you can align new objects to Pixel Grid. Hit OK. So uh, if I hit Control-1, we'll get to 100%. And so the first example I'll give you, I, I'm going to go ahead and just use the type tool, left click, and we're just going to type design. So I'm going to move to the move tool, a selection tool, hold shift, left click, and just scale that up. And I'm going to use a font just called news cycle. It's free. You can find it. Uh, actually, that's not the one I wanted. There we go. Oswald is the one I wanted. So you could find that if you just Google it. Uh, no big deal. And so just looking at this, I let's say, for example, we wanted to add some sort of shadow to this. You know, there's several different ways you could do that. You could uh, just take Control-C, Control-F to duplicate it, and then select the, the bottom one down here, and then just use your keyboard down and right arrow keys a few times, and make it maybe a lighter color like that. Very simple, not much to it. Uh, another way you could do it, uh, while keeping the same black color here, uh, what we could do is go to over here, let me find it, under this section, on this drop down menu, open swatch library. Now, mine is kind of showing off on, uh, up on the right hand side. Uh, so, when I, where I'm going to basically is patterns. And then it comes out basic graphics and then basic dots and in basic graph lines. So uh, the one I want to choose is lines, graphics lines right there. And we can see we have all these different uh, swatches, these presets here. Uh, so if I just click on one of these, we'll see what it does. It just fills in that text path or text field with uh, these lines. So these are thicker and then these are real thin. Now in and of itself, Maybe something right around here would maybe work well, uh, but they actually work well when you combine multiple. So let's say we select this one, maybe move it up a little bit closer, and we'll hit Control C, Control F to duplicate it. Select the bottom one, use your down and right arrow keys just a couple times, maybe right around there, and then use a thinner one. And then now you may want to use your uh, down arrow key and right arrow key to get it to. Uh, because they are transparent over each other. So if you if you have them aligned incorrectly, it'll look kind of cluttered. But right there looks pretty good and just kind of an interesting, cool effect uh, that you could apply to not just type layers like this. So let's say, for example, uh, we have a, a shape here. We'll use the Ellipse tool. And I'm going to hold Shift and Alt and left click and drag out to create a perfect circle. And we'll get rid of the fill this time. So we can come over here in Swatches. Click that red slash, switch to our stroke, and we'll give it a black stroke, turn up the stroke size, and then change our variable width profile, which by default is uniform, uh, to maybe something like, uh, let's see, maybe this one right here. So it's just kind of different in how the stroke is applied. So then what we go, we'll do, we'll go to object, path, and we'll outline the stroke. All right, so it's no longer a path, it's uh, or a stroke rather, it's a full path. And we could control C and control F. And we could do the same thing. Take this one right there. Oops, I think I'm selecting the text. So let me convert that to an outline. Take the bottom one, control H, and yeah, right there. Control C, control F, and move the bottom one. Let me real quick running into the same problem. Actually, I'll just uh, probably use this is becoming oh, it's because it's applying a stroke. There we go. All 
There we go. That looks a little bit better. And we can see it just gives you a nice sort of taper effect over here. Over here, it doesn't look so good. Uh, so once you have these paths filled in, you know, you can use, let's say, for example, we only wanted to have this show up on the inside and not the outside. We could just take the pen tool. I'm going to hit Control H so we can see the paths and the points. I come up right around here. Come up around. Take the move tool. Select that along with our two pattern paths. Holding shift, left clicking, we'll move it over, select the top path, object path, and divide objects below. And then take the direct selection tool and just select somewhere in the middle and hit delete twice. Then we can move this over. And now we can make this so that it only shows up here on the inside. But yeah, that's the general basic idea of this. Uh, it's just a very quick way of manipulating paths and adding interesting sort of graphics. So uh, another one you could do if we come down here, we go to patterns again, we could do dots even. So they have a lot of cool dots. They kind of look like half tones. Um, so when you apply these, let me apply maybe a, a thick one here and then a, a less thick one here. Control C, Control F, move it down. Control C, Control F, move this down. That way we can sort of just taper it off. But yeah, anyhow, you could just really experiment with it and you can make it really interesting just by duplicating the layers and then just adding different variations of these. So yeah, go ahead and explore all of these. Uh, you know, they have the patterns, but they have so much others here. Uh, hopefully my kid, that didn't, the microphone didn't pick that up. She's screaming. Anyhow. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and experiment with that and hopefully you learn something new that can really drastically uh, alter the appearance and the quality of your designs. All right, so sorry I haven't been updating lately with uh, a lot of content. I've been focused on kind of restructuring how I do designcourse.com and actually the whole the whole show and such. So uh, look out for more updates in the future and make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and check out designcourse.com. All right, see you later. Goodbye.